I had so much fun on the T7 last week, decided to do it again. What a beast. Well, this track is always an interesting one to start on. I probably could have and should have went up and over. I kind of changed my mind last second there. <laughs> Suddenly reminded when you lose momentum on this bike, what it actually means. Especially when you're not running knobblies anymore. Had to reset a bit. I'm just gonna try and go up and over like I would on the the little pumpkin. I tell you not having not having a knobbly tire makes a big difference. Uh, oh, note to self, do not lose momentum on this girl. She will punish you. So, since last week, I've actually had quite a lot of rain. And as you can tell, my grip has plummeted as a result. So much wheel spin going on. What a view though. just such a different ball game compared to the KTM. Shit. Not having grip. Jesus, these tires are dirt when you're off-road. They used to be good, but I have nothing. This is a very different kind of spin to last week. It's 
side of the mountain was always more tricky and it always got more rain, it was always wetter. Maybe I was lured into a false sense of security last week. Prime riding conditions. Who knows? As I was saying last week, if I want to take this thing off road again more often, I should put the meters on again. Because those tires were class for this machine. Yeah, that last trail has humbled me a wee bit. Um, yeah, I just need to decide what to do, I suppose. I really should be putting my meters tires back on if I want to be riding this off-road. I know I've said that now a few times, but and I'm just reiterating it to myself. Um, I actually put the tractionators back on so I had a horrible um, tank slapping moment going to work one day with the E13 but that was back when the suspension was still f so uh, yeah that might just be down to um, the suspension as opposed to the tyre We're gonna go this way and we're just gonna assess things as we go. Alright, there's no way I'm getting up that. Whoa. What are the chances, huh? We'll give it a go. So I'd nearly rather go up this than along that. Oh, f you. Jesus Christ, the f***ing way to this. Just no grip in the rear. Maybe if I was going faster, but I 
just don't trust these tyres. I don't trust them in the slightest. They're throwing me all over the place. See, even turning this thing around is a workout. I completely forgot about. Humbled. There's no better word for it. Absolutely humbled. And it probably looks flat on camera, which is gonna make me all the more upset when uh, looking back at this footage. But Jay, as you're looking back at this footage, go and remind yourself to put your meat as tires back on, please. these tractionators in the bin even though they're class on the road they're actually really good on the road I had a lot of fun coming up here it takes about half an hour from the house and that kind of yeah like it kind of reminds me of what I was saying in the last video when I was out on this it's like what do I want the Tenere to be Oh, you've selected the wrong line coming down here the old confidence is being rocked cue all the YouTube comments you're too slow I could do that in my sleep Probably am too slow. When you've no confidence into the old tires, it's hard to have the confidence to go any faster. When you're in the back garage of nowhere with no phone signal and you're on your own. Yeah. Anyway, a bit of a humbling experience today on the trails, as I say. Really have left with my tail between my legs. Go to the sand pit. Just muck about there for a bit. Oh yeah. Let's burn a bed. Doubles. Dickheads. probably do with checking air pressures in the tires actually too. I do forget that that's a thing now that I don't have mooses. Oh yeah, that was a bottom out. One spot, this sand pit. They just muck around.
That was some nice air. Nice air there. She's uh it's a great bike to jump with actually. It's just so uh what's the word? I don't know, friendly. I suppose maybe the way the linkage works. It doesn't like throw the front up in the air or anything. I don't know. It just feels very neutral when you when you jump her, which is confidence inspiring. gonna absolutely destroy these tires before I whip them off so I'm not gonna save them this time they are gone for good they were good though especially at the start and if you do more road miles with a little bit of off-road great tire if you're doing single track in the wet go for something else that's my professional opinion Ah, this is so much fun. Could do it all day. Anyway, I'm gonna go and get coffee. And uh, reconsider all my life choices. So, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll try to get the meters on before taking this thing out again so I can actually take it for a proper spin. Because here in Ireland, you can never rely on it being dry. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.